Hey friends, welcome back to the show. In last week's video, you saw me go out and buy a brand new 2021 16 foot continental boat trailer for the SS Adventure. In today's video, I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how to install a spare tire with the carrier on this trailer. Apologize about the outdoor noise and everything. We're back here in the storage area of the RV park, which which I stay, and somebody's out across the other side of the tracks target shooting with their gun. So, but what we're working with is 12 inch tires and wheels stuff the same exact match that came with the trailer but I had to buy this separately and we have made by tie down a spare tire carrier and we're going to install this thing to this trailer right now let's go ahead and open up this box and see what kind of goodies are inside Ooh, this thing looks heavy duty that nice it's kind of big but you know what who cares let's get the hardware out and there's all the goodies come with it right there let's get started now this kit comes with everything you see here i'll take a closer look at this so you can see what comes with the box when you purchase this product this comes with a galvanized dip solid carrier as well as four bolts long bolts with the nuts, two small ones with the lugs, with the washers as well, that hold the tire, and two back braces. Let's go ahead and mount this thing up. Now this is pretty much the desired area towards the front. Um, we don't want to cover up our little side marker light and everything, so we're going to loosely put this thing up here in a position and take a measurement and see how close the spare tire and stuff uh, clears without hitting the bottom of the boat. All right, so we're going to start with two of our long bolts and those are going to go through these two holes right here at the top and we're going to set that up against the beam of the trailer and then we're going to take our two other brackets that you see i have here and we're going to slide them through the holes to hole so it actually works almost like a u-bolt Something like that. All right, our back brackets here. There's one of them. There's second one on there. Now, we haven't really done anything to set this thing up here, and I'm already running into my first problem. Can you see that? The threads end. So there's no way of taking and putting my nut all the way up there to tighten it up. So I came up with a solution as a spacer. I've got a couple slip nuts that you'd put on a faucet. And we're gonna take and slide them up like that. Both ends, problem solved. Now we can start our nuts on there. Yeah. The other one like that. Sorry about my hand being in the way. Tricky business here actually easier than what you would think all right so you're gonna need a couple wrenches to do this install I got a three-quarter inch open end wrench and a crescent end to hold the front end of this tire carrier All right, so we got our two top bolts. They're in, they're not completely tight or anything like that with our two spacers we needed. We're gonna take our other two bolts on the opposite side, bring them through like that. Can you see that? That one's kind of tight. Don't force anything. There we go. Through something like that. Next, we're gonna take our two brass nuts, like I showed before, and actually go to a faucet and use them as a spacer. And get our next two nuts ready to go. Hand tight for right now, and then we'll get the wrenches on there. And we'll go ahead and we'll get this fastened down and get it in position where we want the tire to end up when we're finished.
All right, so now we pretty much got our bracket where we want it to be. Uh, I don't want to cover up this little marker light. Uh, so now we're going to tighten this into place so it's nice and solid. Then we'll put our two bolts up top for our lugs so we can hang on to the tire. All right, so this is kind of how we're set up right now. The bracket is in place, it's nice and solid. And we've got two more smaller bolts. Got little square tips on there and stuff. We're gonna bring them in from behind like this, see that? And they can slide either direction to accommodate the amount of space between my hubs. All right, so it's gonna get a little tricky. We're gonna see what we can do here. All right, we're down to our last two lug nuts. Let's go ahead and get them started. All right, so I left my lug wrench back at the RV and stuff, but I believe this size is a 13 16. We're just gonna snug those two lugs down and we'll see how we look. Man, oh man, just like that. Lickety split, there she sits. Fits perfect, great clearance between the boat. Still got my marker lights and all that other good stuff you can see. One more thing to top it off with the cherry. How about a spare tire cover made by Smith for a 12 inch tire? And this cover actually has a little opening in the bottom to drain water. Let's see how it fits. Ugh, come on, Tim. You can do it. Come on. A little bit more. Got to get it on there just right. Beautiful thing. Hey, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. Awesomeness. Now we have confidence and peace of mind of being able to take the SS Adventure anywhere we want without all the complications and worries that we had with the old trailer and stuff. The carrier for the spare tire is made by Tie Down, and the cover for the tire itself is made by Smith, so you can look for these things at your local marine and all that other good stuff. Uh, the carrier ran right about $70, uh, and the wheel cover was around 20 bucks. The spare tire was $60. But you know what, all in all, if something ends up happening and I get a blowout, just gotta make sure to bring my lug wrench with me. <laughs> we'll be ready to go. Got any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.